Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. My name is Danielle and I make lifestyle videos and I'm very excited to show you what I've been working on. So this is the before in my dining room and we're going to completely flip this and do a DIY coffee bar and also we're going to redo the whole dining room. So you'll see the coffee bar makeover first and then hang out with me because you're also going to see the dining room at the end. So I'm starting off the video by making my own ball garland out of some felt balls only because I couldn't find what I wanted in the store. So I just decided to go ahead and DIY that. So we'll do that and then we'll get started on the um, coffee bar. So moving on to the coffee bar, as you can see, the shelves have been hung above my buffet. These are custom. A family member made them for me and I'm so appreciative because they are absolutely gorgeous and they're built specifically for me. So I will always cherish these shelves. So we're starting off with a layer of chalk paint, not um, the kind that you would typically paint furniture with, but this is actually chalkboard paint. So it's cheaper. It actually does take me two coats to get this to where you can't see through it and to get it to where you're able to write on it. Um, I did try vinyl and it just, I was just so frustrated because it wasn't working in my favor. So I decided to completely scratch that idea and just paint it. So um, as you can see, I'm finishing up the first coat here and then I'll move on to the second coat. All right, so the chalkboard's done, so, and don't mind the flaws, you won't be able to see those later, I promise. So now I am going to prepare it for writing, and I'm just gonna run some chalk all over it, and then you'll see me write whatever I am going to write. And I'm super nervous about doing it, so you guys will see that in a minute. Now that we've seasoned our chalkboard, we're gonna move on to our string lights. These are outdoor indoor lights and I got them on Amazon for I think $15. I have them linked on my Instagram, so if you follow me, just click the link in my bio and you'll see them linked there. Super easy, all of my Amazon favorites are linked there. And I am just stapling these up so it's a lot easier and it doesn't puncture the cord or anything like that. So if in the future I wanna take them down, I can reuse them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Don't mind the extras hanging down. I'm going to hide those later. So I got the lights hung up, but don't worry about what's hanging down on the side. 
because I'm gonna try my best to hide those with decor. Um, so now I'm gonna try my best to write on the chalkboard. I don't know what I'm gonna write, how I'm gonna write, but I'm super nervous about doing it. So we'll do that, and then I believe we'll get started on some decor for the shelves and stuff. And I hope you'll continue to watch and like it and enjoy because I'm having a blast doing this and I'm super excited to see it done. I've always wanted a coffee shop kind of vibe in my house. And now that I have the space to do that, I am ecstatic. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, but let's go ahead and get started on trying to um, write on the board. So as you can see, I have three different kinds of coffee makers on the coffee bar. So I have the Ninja coffee pot, I have the espresso maker that also has the milk frother, and then I have the Keurig K-cup, um, one cup coffee pot. So I use my coffee pot the most, and I'd love to know what you guys use the most. Are you a K-cup lover? Do you love coffee that you can make a whole pot and just enjoy it? 
or do you like espresso in your coffee? I, for one, if I go to Starbucks, absolutely love espresso in my coffee, but I'm not huge on making it at home. So if you do or you have any recipes, I'd love it if you DM me um, on Instagram and let me know what your favorite coffee drinks are, especially if you make them at home, because obviously I'm not just making this coffee bar for fun. I want it to be practical as well. So here I'm just filling up the first jar with um, coffee beans. These smell spectacular. And then after that, you'll see me fill the bigger jar with K-cups, but I actually change my mind later and you'll see that I switch out the K-cups, put them in the baskets, and then actually fill this with the coffee that is already ground that we use every day. So we finished our coffee bar and now we're going to move on to the rest of the dining room because we don't want to leave it looking like a tragedy after we just created this beautiful coffee bar in our dining room. So here I am just hanging up some lace curtains. I actually had these on this window slash door earlier, but we took them down to wash them and for some reason I didn't put them back up. I think it was because I knew that I was going to make this video later, so I just kind of left them out. So I'm gonna hang those up and then we'll move on to the rest of the decor. So when my kids come in from playing outside, I wanted to make sure that they had a bench to put their shoes on. Sometimes it's muddy and I just don't like them tracking it all the way to the other side of the house to put them in the front room or take them upstairs. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here. Also, I'm going to put up a little bit of a coat rack because when it's winter and they go in the backyard, they can have their coat there or when they're getting ready for school. Also, look at that beautiful sunset in the background. I did try to get all of this done during the day, but because I work a full-time job, I couldn't start my project until 5 p.m., so that only left me a short window to have sunlight. So I hope that you enjoy it, even though it is becoming nighttime. I hope that you can still see just as well. But here I'm just hanging up some pictures. I'm actually kind of a pro at eyeballing stuff. Um, it's one of the few gifts that God gave me and I'm pretty proud of it. So I thought I'd let y'all know that I'm pretty good at eyeballing. So I actually do use a thumbtack to initially hang them and get them level. And then once I get them where I want them, I go ahead and screw in the permanent screw. And that's just because the tack leaves a smaller hole than the screw would. My husband just patched these walls and also um, put the plaster on them to 
um, seal the holes that were there before. So I don't want to damage his fresh work and the fresh coat of paint that's on there. So I am trying to be as perfect as I can the first time. So we're going to go ahead and get these hung up and we'll move on to the next. So if you guys are wondering why I'm the one doing the drilling and hanging everything, it's because one, I believe that women can do anything that men can do, but no, the, the major region, reason is because over a year ago, my husband was um, diagnosed with a blood disease. It's very rare. It's one in a million and he is on extreme blood thinners. He's not able to be anywhere where an accident might happen. He's down and out sometimes. He's in and out of doctors constantly. So... I take on a lot of the work and I don't rely on him for much of anything. I think that I should be the one taking care of him. So if you are wondering why I'm doing all of the um, hanging and stuff like that, it's because I can do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it and take that burden off of him. So this is the finished project and I hope that you all enjoy it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content. I absolutely am obsessed with the way that this room turned out and I hope that you love it just as much. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part is, if you enjoyed this video, and you know what guys, I love you so much for being here and supporting me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.